In the last video I talked about uh, Felix Sputnik's quadruped locomotion tutorial. Again, I have that link in the description. And he goes on to talk about the trot. Now the trot is kind of in between the walk and the gallop or run and would be much like a jog for humans. So we can simplify this and look say just at the front feet here and see that the trot is much like a run in the sense that there's a point where both feet leave the ground. You can see neither foot is touching the ground. And when there is a foot in contact with the ground, it's only one foot at a time. It's either the left foot or the right foot. In some ways, the trot can actually be easier to animate than say the walk or the run. And I say that because the, the front legs and the rear legs are nearly alike, except that they are offset by a half of cycle. And when I say they're offset by half a cycle, I'm saying that their same side feet meet. So if this is one half the cycle, at the other half the cycle, it would be exactly the opposite, right? And what this also means is that both the front shoulders and the back hips are hitting their ups and downs at the same time, rather than offset like they walk. And you can illustrate that here if I go into the graph editor and I take a look at the translate Y on both the shoulders and the hips. They're reaching, translate Y is the up and down, they are reaching the high point at the same time, and they are reaching their low point at the same time. From there, I can offset the head a little bit to give some texture. So here I have it fleshed out uh, a little bit, and it feels just kind of meh to me. I think it's close, but as I'm looking at it, I feel like I feel like the feet spend too much time on the ground. So one way to fix that is to take say a frame or two out of that time and I'll bring up the controls again and if I take a look at this rear foot for example the time or the um, attributes that I'm looking to adjust are the left and right and the up and down. That would be the translate Z and translate Y. So if I bring up the graph editor if you take a look and I highlight just the Z and the Y. Blue is the Z, that's the left to right. If you see this point to this point is a straight linear line. That is when our foot is on the ground and moving at a constant speed. That is also when I want to take out some frames. So if I'm taking a look at this, I think the easiest way to do it is We'll take a double check here. I got a value of zero on this key. I've got a value of zero on this key. Uh, I know that that other key is zero. So this key, I can just go ahead and delete. I don't, I, I don't need this key. What that'll let me do is if I select all of these and I move them over two frames, what I have done is I have shortened the distance from this key to this key by two frames, which is what I wanted. So from here, I would go ahead and clean up the curves a little bit and then repeat for the remaining legs. And here it is with the adjusted timing. It's pretty rough still, so I definitely need to go in and refine the animation. Now we can compare the before and the after, and I think it's pretty easy to see the difference. Just taking those two frames of contact with the ground out of the equation, I think it gives it, I don't know, a lighter or, or a bouncier feel, um, more like a trot anyway. So I do still need to go in and refine and do some polish, but the idea is there, the foundation is there. In the next video, we'll take a look at the gallop or the run. Thanks for watching.